are Zach and Jody with Zach and Jody Photography. We are Nashville based wedding photographers coming to you at Edorama TV. Yeah, so not only are we wedding photographers, but we are also teachers and we do a lot of uh, business education, lighting, and super fast workflow stuff for photographers all around the country and in different parts of the world. What you're about to see is a bit of footage from us talking about how we use off-camera flash and one of the reasons that having that skill and that technique in our back pocket, especially shooting weddings, is because we don't always get to shoot a whole wedding in the most amazing, beautiful light the whole day. You're shooting in high noon and you're shooting in pitch black sometimes. So how can we have the skill of off-camera lighting to be able to rock out some really beautiful photos in tough situations? So not only is it important to have it in difficult lighting situations, it's also cool just because it looks cool. So I really love off-camera lighting because it adds a cool contrast. You can turn the skies blue or you can make an ordinary kind of blase lighting situation look really dynamic and powerful. So what you're about to see is an excerpt in the bonus content from a DVD we put together called Harvest DVD. So go ahead and enjoy that. All right, guys, what's up? This is Zach from ZachAndJody.com, and we are talking today about doing some awesome off-camera lighting. So as many of you know, Jody and I do a lot of off-camera lighting, a lot of really dynamic imagery. And when you're doing off-camera lighting, there's a lot of different scenarios that can happen. You can be in open shade, you can be in direct sun, you can be indoors and outdoors, and the sun can be in different positions. There's all kinds of different scenarios and different techniques to handle all of those different situations. But today, we're gonna to talk about one of those scenarios, which is doing some off-camera lighting and getting some amazing skies in the background, those cool, dramatic skies that every photographer loves to look at. So we're going to talk about how we do that particular setup. So first, before we get into that, we want to talk about the gear that we're going to be using. What does Zach and Jody bring on location? So I'm going to have my amazing assistant Will bring over my lighting rig. And what you can see here, this is my um, Ellen Chrome Quadra setup. And I'm going to show you the top of the rig and then I'll show you the battery pack for it. And what we have here is simply a tiny little half, this is actually just one half of a pound light. It's a 400 watt second light. This is the Ellen Chrome Quadra. And of course you can go to our website to photographers.zackandjody.com and you can download our entire gear list for free. And it's got links to figure out where all this gear is and where to get it from. So this is the Ellen Chrome Quadra, which is awesome because it's very lightweight. We use it on a monopod because it's really easy and maneuverable. We always have an assistant with us. But if you're working by yourself, you can simply put it on a tripod. It's attached to the RQEL, which is a little adapter that allows it to attach to a speed ring, which allows it to attach to any softbox you have. This is a Westcott 24 by 32 softbox. This is the perfect size softbox. We've literally used this particular one for about five years. We take it on location everywhere. It's just big enough to where it puts out beautiful, amazing light. And it's just small enough to where it doesn't get in the way and we can sort of maneuver it around indoors, outdoors, and it's not overkill. And remember, when you're shooting off-camera flash, size is super important. The bigger the flash that you have and the more space that this light comes out evenly, the more painted on and beautiful the light's gonna look. The smaller the light source, the more contrasty and the more harsh that light's gonna look. So there's a lot of people doing sort of the small 580 flashes using ETTL and that's cool. But the problem is, is you get this very contrasty light that needs a lot of editing later. This kind of light paints light on people's faces and it looks like you retouched their face before you retouched it. So that's why we prefer to use this good size 24 by 32 softbox. So that's the top of the light rig. And on the bottom, we simply have the battery pack. This is about a six pound battery pack and it comes with a little shoulder strap so you can have your assistant or you sling it over your shoulder. The whole rig weighs less than nine pounds and it'll shoot about 150 times at full power and most of the time we're not using it at full power. So one little battery pack will last the entire day. If you're not super serious about off-camera lighting, I wouldn't get into this because it's a little pricey. It starts at about 1500 bucks. Um, I also have a little radio transmitter connected to it. This is a CyberSync transmitter, but it actually comes with one built in as well that you can power up and down the flash with, um, which also syncs together. But I prefer the CyberSync because it's more consistent. It works a lot better. So that's the power pack. So now we're gonna take this amazing power pack and this great light, and we're gonna show you guys our three-step system to getting amazing dramatic skies. So step one 
If we wanna get amazing sky, and you can see behind us, even probably on the video, the sky's a little bright because we're exposed for my face. And a lot of times when you're shooting, that's what happens. You try to expose for your client's face, and then that sky gets blown out. So how can we tone down that background with all, by also getting this beautiful light on our client's face without their faces getting too dark? So here's the three-step system. Step number one, we're gonna take our camera with whatever preferred lens we have. We're gonna get into the location we wanna shoot in. I like to get a lot of open sky and make sure that my client's faces and torso at the least is in that open sky because then we don't have anything competing with them. We don't have trees and branches coming out of their head or anything like that. So all we have to do, step number one, I always shoot, and this is something to write down if you're taking notes, I shoot at ISO 100 at 1 100th 1 of a second all the time when I'm shooting flash, and I simply adjust my f-stop to get the correct exposure. So I'm set at ISO 100, 1 100th 1 of a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point my camera up at the sky in the background that I want to get a good exposure of. And I don't want my sky perfectly exposed, I want it a little bit dark so it looks moody and dramatic, and then we're gonna fill in uh, the dark part of our client's face with our flash. So I point it up at the sky, I have my camera set to ISO 100, 1 100th 1 of a second, and I start adjusting my f-stop up and down until my in-camera meter gets to minus one. I'm watching my in-camera meter, and I'm cranking it up, and now I'm at F11 gives me one stop underexposed sky. It's a little later in the day right now, so the sky's not as bright as it normally is. So it's F11 gives me minus one stop sky. So if I took a picture of the sky right now, it would be a little bit too dark. All right, so we talked about step one where we darkened that sky. We made sure that the camera read the sky as one stop underexposed by simply using our in-camera light meter. Now step two, now that we've got the background underexposed a little bit, we want to make sure our subjects are perfectly lit. So all we have to do is power our handy dandy off camera flash up until we get the exact same settings on our camera that uh, on our light meter that we did in our camera. So we were set at ISO 100, 1 100th 1 of a second, which is what I shoot most of my strobe stuff on. And now all I have to do is power up my off camera flash until it reads that on my light meter and that means I'm gonna have a correct exposure on them with a darkened background. So we're gonna bring in our amazing models. They're gonna come right up here and stand right next to me. And what I'm gonna do is you can see I've got my Sekonic L358 light meter. It's set to ISO 100, 1 100th of a second. I do that manually. And now I'm gonna have my assistant Will power the flash up and down until we reach an f-stop of f11 on the meter. And once we do that, this exposure right here on them will be perfectly correct. The background, like we did earlier, will be one stop underexposed. And the reason we like that is because they will be the brightest part of the photo and the background will be a little darker. We'll get that moody look and it'll look incredibly freaking awesome. So we're gonna have Will go ahead and power up the light. As you can see right here, we're gonna adjust the light just a little bit, just like that. And he's gonna fire off the flash and now we've powered it up. We're gonna have him powered up just a little bit more. We're gonna fire it one more time. And notice the flash also is in the same proximity as their faces. We have, if I, if I use the flash up here, it would be a completely different light reading than it is right here. So we have to put it in the same distance. Uh, the, this light meter needs to be the same distance to their face as their face is to the strobe. Let me say that one more time. We may, need to make sure the light meter is right by their face. So we get the exact reading that the light's gonna be on their face. So now we are at F11 on the light meter. So now I can pull back, take a couple of shots, check my histogram to make sure there's nothing over or underexposed, and we'll take a look at the shot. So here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. Sweet, so look amazing. We're gonna pull back. My amazing wife is gonna hop in there and make sure their hair is looking awesome. I'm gonna have Jason take a tiny, tiny step back, just a little bit, so they're right in line with each other, perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and snap off a couple of shots and see how they look. All right, you guys, be awesome, ready, go. Oh my gosh, amazing. Dang, you guys are hot, perfect. Couple more, yep, awesome. Incredible, holy cow, you guys are awesome at this. I'm gonna have Will take a tiny, tiny step back, perfect, couple more. And Jason looking right at the light there for me, dude. Rock and roll. Awesome, let's do one more. 
So as you guys can see on the images on the screen, super simple, super easy to do. Now we have that super dramatic background. They've got that beautiful light on their faces. A couple little things to add. You just wanna make sure that the center of your light source or your softbox is above the center of their eyes and that gives us perfect shadows on their face every single time. And now we can run around and shoot anywhere with this beautiful sky as long as the conditions down here don't change. So remember, if you're in similar conditions that we're in, we're in, it's kind of a cloudy day down here. We have that moody sky in the background. We don't have any sun hitting our faces, nothing crazy going on. The sun isn't to our back or anything like that. If you have these similar kind of conditions and use this system, you're gonna get the exact same results every single time. We hope you guys have enjoyed seeing that. And if you're interested in more content from us, we do have our Harvest DVD available, which is over four hours of business content, as well as a little bit of shooting stuff in the bonus content, as you have seen. So go ahead and follow the link below for more information. And just as an Adorama customer, you guys get a special perk. So go ahead and check out the promo code at the bottom of the screen and enjoy. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.